Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, and I am in Humble, Texas, just outside of Houston, for the Houston Barbecue Festival. It's their 10th annual festival. Um, I came here a few years ago with my girlfriend at the time, but we didn't vlog it, but now you know I'm vlogging everything. Um, you're like, where's the metal? Here we go, I'm wearing my cattle decapitation long sleeve. Um, perfect shirt for this, even though they are vegans. I'm not vegan, even though I did go to that vegan restaurant the other day. I'm gonna eat some of the best barbecue from the area. You've seen me eat barbecue in different places around the country, but Texas does it best. And we have the best here in the Houston area. Some people think Austin or Central Texas has it. No guys, Houston is where it's at. I'm gonna show you today, so come along and join me on this episode of The Most Epic Adventures and watch Rob eat. I'm waiting in line. <laughs> I'm, I'm here a little early and these nice people came in from, well, they live here now. Yeah. They were telling me about some other barbecue festivals. What brought you guys to the Houston Barbecue Festival today? Well, I'm actually from Austin. My friend Robbie here is from Houston, and we know there's a lot of good eats here. I don't know, you tell them why you're here. Well, yeah, so, I mean, I also do YouTube and do barbecue reviews and nice. recipes and stuff. So, I mean, just getting to see what everybody's doing, talk to some pit masters, uh, do a whole bunch of, I mean, it's, it's almost, I don't, I hate to say the word networking because it's not, like, I'm not trying to get a job or anything, but it's just, yeah. oh, no, it's so to cool fun. to learn from everybody yeah. and try some great food. Some of the, I mean, the best barbecue in the world is in Texas, and Houston, in my opinion, has the best food in Texas, so you gotta, you know. Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. I'm here because I love hanging out with barbecue people, barbecue pit masters, nicest people, like, this is where everyone becomes friends and family, so. Right. The community is so great. The, the Texas barbecue community is incredible. It's, so exactly. it's really, any chance you get to see them is, go for it. All right, well, I will put the link to your YouTube yeah, in the description. Uh, Robbie's Smoke Show. Robbie Smoke Show. Nice to meet you, Robbie. Yeah. All right, it's just before one, and we're in. People are, people are running. They're rope dropping. <laughs> I'm hangry. Here are the names of all the barbecue companies that are here today. See that? All of them are based in the Houston area. This guy's filming everybody coming in. He's a VIP. So there's people. People are getting beers. We got some sauces over here. Where's the food? I don't have a method. I don't have a plan except for to get in a line and then eat it while I'm waiting in line for another food. So the people that paid for VIP, they've they've been here. They're just chilling. We've got their food already. So I think people are gonna be starting over here. So I'm gonna go. Let's go to the other side. Let's cut across. Start off at Truth and just try to work our way down here. Go. So I'm waiting for them to slice it, but this is going to be worth the wait. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, this is what you this is what you're here for to see this hot brisket slicing action. Oh, even the oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. Show that to you guys. Look at that nice. smoke ring. That's the first time, dude. All right, just loading it up. A little sauce on there. Uh -huh. All right, I got the first first one from Truth Barbecue. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm waiting in line for the next one. Mm. I mean, the brisket is excellent. This the the pickled onions and the. Barbecue sauce of a nice vinegar taste, which I wasn't expecting. And it's on potato bread, which is so moist and dense. It's not quite sweet like um, like regular white bread is. Mm. Great first choice. Houston is the most diverse city in the in the country. And that can even be said so for their bar for our barbecue. I, I thought it was we have some uh, Vietnamese-inspired barbecue here. So it is. 
North Carolina whole hog. It's Lily Ben. Very cool. All right, this is what I got from, from that one. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like some noodles with some barbecue pork and some cilantro. I, uh, I gave him a card and I was like, I'm a YouTuber, I'd like to come by. And he was like, yeah, message us on Instagram. It's not on Instagram, I'm on YouTube. It was tasty. Um, it was different. Some fat noodles with some barbecue pork. Can't go wrong. Had some little crunchy like fried onions or something. It's bar, uh, bar A barbecue. Barbecue with tacos with beef fat tortillas. So like the half size taco, which is great because we're eating a lot of stuff today. All right, let me try this little taco. really tasty. They are in Montgomery, which is uh, west of Conroe in Montgomery County. Very good. So then we have True Texas Barbecue. I'm not sure where they're located. Somewhere around the Houston area, I'm sure. They've got uh, brisket, smoked lamb. Let's see. Oh, and they've got water. So True Texas Barbecue, it's the ATB brand. we got some Moroccan lamb and some fatty brisket. And they gave us some free spring water, Texas spring water. So that was worth it. This that. may be the only place where I was going to get some lamb today. So I'm looking forward Honestly, to Honestly, if, if they would have put ATB barbecue, I probably wouldn't have gone. They were like, true barbecue. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Um, it was the ATB brand, but it was, the brisket was good. And the lamb was a nice, surprising taste. So now we're in line for the Tejas chocolate and barbecue, which you like, chocolate and barbecue? Yeah. It makes sense. Is it Tejas way? Yeah. The, line, the lines are kind of weird, but we're figuring it out. This guy gets it. He brought the big fruit tray. So we got a little bit of meat. That brisket looks a little weird, though. I don't, this, I don't know what's going with that white, but a little bit of, I think that's sweet potato, and then a, like a shot of chocolate. I got a real fatty piece, but it's all right. Fat is flavor. All right, moon down the line. Firecraft barbecue. Biscuit on spoon bread with barbecue aioli. I don't know what spoon bread is. It kind of looks like a cornbread. See if I can do this camera angle here. Try this bread by itself if I can. Got the copyrighted music playing in the background. Hopefully it's low enough. It's a double chem cam. Hashtag double chin cam. Yeah, it's like a cornbread. Got another fatty piece of brisket here. I'm not super psyched about that. I mean, it's still really tasty though. This is difficult. Right, let me try to put the bread on the brisket. Barbecue aioli. That's uh, I got all five. That was a little much. It was tasty, but it was a little much. All right, I'm kind of losing track of the line. Going to Burns. There's there. They got some sausage up there. Try some of that. All right, it looks like a lot of sauce added to that beef chopped beef and uh, some kind of sausage here. Right, let's try the double chin cam again. I'm not really taking how much sauce is on this uh, chopped beef. The sausage. I don't like it. I feel like that's a drone. It's not mine. I didn't bring mine. I keep forgetting to bring it. Oh, well. We're gonna Mimsy's next. Smoked brisket and boudin scampi. Wow, that's an interesting combination. Brisket boudin. The smoked shrimp scampi. Mimsy's Craft Barbecue from Crockett, Texas. It's 
weird. But not bad. I ate it. Not bad at all. How much more barbecue can I eat? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna leave here it's ill. I'm gonna be ill. I know. Chef is Nomad Barbecue. They've got some pork belly skewers with banger sauce. It's pork belly. I, I got a smaller piece a little bit less fat um, and this is their banger sauce ask if it's hot she said no and I said damn she's like oh but it's good so we'll see All right. double chin cam again this is on a stick meat on a stick still a lot of fat all right the last and tenth place on this side is Ray's barbecue shack and they actually have a decent little line so I'm gonna get in this line take a little break I've eaten nine barbecue sample so far. Right, this had the big line. See if it's worth it. Man, you can see what they have at their restaurant on Old Spanish Trail. They got some catfish and shrimp. That looks good. I want to smoke that mom approves of. You can see they've got their smokers here. A lot of them brought their smokers. All right, there's Cherise from Southern Q. I'm going to go back to her place too. This is what everybody's waiting for at Ray's. All right, I found a little seat here. I'm still hearing the copyrighted music, but look at this deep fried corn on the cob. I'm gonna take a bite out of it. I'm not huge on corn on the cob. It's not bad. I mean, the batter is really good. The corn is sweet. I don't know how to do it without the corn kernels popping. A little much for me. Oh. There's so many barbecue places here. I don't think it's possible to get all of them. The pork short rib. It's tasty, but the pork short ribs, I want them with that bright red Chinese sauce. Um, some kind of sausage here. It's okay. And then this is a pork belly burnt in. So much fat. I'm just gonna take the meat off. I'm not gonna get all this fat. It's really good. Really good. But again, it was a big chunk of fat. Too many big chunks of fat. And then give me some peach cobbler. I don't like peaches. I do like cobbler. I'm just gonna try this. Cobbler's good. It's like a sugar cookie. Like a nice sugar cookie. Some cinnamon notes. Cinnamon, vanilla, butter. That's what you want. Again, the peaches. I don't like peaches. Not everybody loves them some peach cobbler, but. Yeah. I'm hitting a wall, guys. And there's still like, sorry. There's still like 20 more barbecue places here. The merchandise, all they had were t-shirts. I have too many t-shirts, some tote bags, which I would never use. I have one that this energy company gave me. All right, I'm just hitting a wall, but my uh, homies that I met at uh, in the line coming in told me I had to hit up Blood Brothers and had, had to get the sausage from Brotherton's. So we're back over here. So there we go, the smoking things. They put up, uh, they put up H Town. So they're definitely Houston company. So they got a tostada. This is the smallest tostada I've ever seen. It's like they just put their barbecue with some cojita cheese and some cilantro and some peppers and onions. It looks like uh, maybe some cactus and tomato on a tostitos. All right, Brotherton's Black Iron Barbecue. They told me how to come get the sausage. This jalapeno cheese sausage. I am a sucker for such things. Oh, and they got mustard sauce. All right, the double chin came. We're on the table. 
We start with the tostada from Blood Brothers. Nice little, nice little flag. Hope I don't get uh, demonetized because of the background yeah. music. That's it's a killer. Do you want me to think there's over? There's a lot of there's, there's, there's a lot going on in this thing. I don't want to tilt it, but here we go. I'm gonna try to eat it all in one bite. One bite. One bite. One bite. Oh. One bite. One bite. That's the moment. That's when you see it. The brain's processing. The Zach Galifianakis game. <laughs> you know, with as much stuff on there, you would think there'd be more flavor. But it's very yeah, cohesive. It's it's it was a big bite. <laughs> it is. You could do it in one bite, but yeah. it's a big bite. Not bad. What are you getting? You say yeah. I mean, the Tostitos brand uh, chip <laughs> has a unique flavor. There's a little bit of lime. I think it's a lime one. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. All right. Not bad. All right. All right. All right. Now the sauce is. Did you have the mustard with it? Yes. yes. So I've got this. It's a hot. It's a boudin. Did you have a boudin? No, it's like a. There's rice. That's no, boudin. I have never had boudin. We so had like a jalapeno cheese sausage. You had a jalapeno cheese sausage? Yeah, I don't so know if there's a jalapeno cheese sausage, but it's got yeah. rice, like a boudin. Yeah. Yeah, very curious what that is. It, it has brisket in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It has good flavor, but I wouldn't want to eat more than one bite of that. It's very salty. Very salty. Especially with the mustard. It's my opinion. What was my favorite thing here? And it's hard to say. I ate so many good things. Honestly, maybe the first thing I had from Truth Barbecue. They, put, they just put a little strip of brisket on a potato bread. Okay. Like the Martin's potato bread with... Um, a little a pickle and a little bit of sauce the sauce was kind of vinegary yes and then there was like sauces. pickled onions so it's very vinegary that's not really a flavor you get a lot here mm -hmm. so for me like the brisket was on point when they added a new a new element oh i love when you get a bun get some bread get some yeah bread. that's all you need yeah. so to, the first one was my favorite nice. there, there we go that's my <laughs> the truth barbecue and robbie you've been to truth barbecue, truth you've, barbecue you've you've vlogged it Yes. So we'll put that video in the description. Oh, we'll link you. that video in the description there for you. One, one, one of my favorites. I mean, it's number three on the Texas Monthly Top 50 yeah. for a reason. Uh, He's been on Top Chef or was yeah. it Top? Like, He's been on something yeah. like that. One of the cooking uh, competition shows. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Koi Barbecue as well. Yeah. They were uh, finalists on one of the Food Network uh, barbecue showdowns, something like yeah. that. Uh, Theirs was incredible. They're doing whole hog, which is yeah. something I'm glad it's taking on uh, here in Texas. Right. It really wasn't here before, but. Awesome. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done. No more. <laughs> no more. So until next time, remember to drink water, listen yes. to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures. Guys, thanks again for watching if you haven't done so already slap that like button and if you're watching and not subscribed go ahead and subscribe I'm gonna try to go to some more barbecue events I've contacted uh, some others so we'll see if we can make it out um, I do have the playlist watch Rob eat and if you haven't watched it or if you watched it already watch it again watch me go to the Astros game in spring training